and I think he's actually been doing this himself over in like the Chinese FPL or whatever it is, um, or in high level pub game, because he's his own little twist and playing it very differently to what we typically see. CT really good boss right now, but <laughs> he's flashy. Oh my god, he really <laughs> had a hundred percent agi oh! and he's dead. CTY serves you right, son. Get the approach. The javelins come out, he's getting forced to grave. And they can't get the size before the grave comes out. Look at that three man chrono set up you first time violation. Beautifully done right in the middle. Could be EG's chance for a bit of a setup, but is it going to be enough? Finally, they're able to break oh, down all the chicken. Look how deep CTY is, and they got a big fiend grip right under the tower. He's trying to morph back the strength, and he won't even lose the Aegis. He's able to make the way from trouble. A 2-2 two -two split Wake right up now. the Aegis! He does more damage than you, CT. Come on! It's like, I want to lose my first life. Now, I'll wait. Ooh, Chrono. Two setup from the Arteezy Gouting Grind. They're going to get one. They could get two. They do! Pipes will come back, tier 3 goes down and suddenly EG are making their move in for the racks and now CTY back in action and the Crow's gonna be cast across the whole uh, the whole game <laughs> as they are in permanent time lock. There's the Chrono, there it goes, it's over and well, I don't know what the hell's happening right now. They make the move for Arteezy, he gets the grave up. It looks like Viper will be going down. They get the grab on the Wanham right now. Arteezy unstoppable as he's moving on in. And look at that, 11. Yeah, Gonna be fine. Going quite well. They see two eyes in the mindset where he wants to be able to split. Oh, so. they get the catch. They're gonna be able to be get three universe here. Laguna, they'll take out Kaka. No buyback because he committed for the Aggro Scepter. That's a huge takedown. CTY, who's gonna be gripped up. Arteezy looking to help up, but he's caught in the middle as he's gonna be split up and take down. Uh oh, here comes Universe. Gets a nice catch on the three, but quick enchant red that will save 11. And, uh, well, actually not. They're going to get the quick kill onto both right now. Kaka has to retreat. Old Chicken not going to be so fortunate here. Look at this. EG able to get a quick stall out. But won't get the full value he was hoping for out of it. Is it fair to say that if EG pulled this one back, it's solely like on Universe and these chrono setups each and every time to kind of make it for his team? I think that's fair. I would say I, they're in this game because of some of his chronoses. He has played an, an, an insane game. And the supports, I don't think, to take anything away. Like the grave saves, some of these full duration grips when he had the Glimmer Cape were, were massive as well. CTY will try to slow down the next wave before it gets in there, but EGR using the wave currently in the base to kind of go to the high ground. There's another Chrono. This one's going to be on to two. Lanham a swing and a miss. Nice sidestep there, and they're going to be able to burst down. Kaka, he's out. No buyback for him. Also 11 down. They look for Old Chicken to get that on two. Kaka just gets the money for the buyback, and now Old Chicken will buy back as well, but so they are only going to work on these racks. Are they going to have enough firepower, though, to take it down? Bean Grip comes out on the Old Chicken, but there's going to be the pullbacks. Kaka now a kick catch. It's three. Oh, but he gets put to sleep from fear and can't move in with the magnetize and they put their focus on the CTY, but this Morphling is, my god, is he taking, he's going to be walking away from the troll, but still oh, moving. Oh, the crit! Kaka! Oh, oh he blinked in the universe! universe. Whoa, oh, the blink! Kaka goes down to die back from him and CTY left to stack.